know I look like shit right now, but ignore me, okay? Currently at the airport and I'm flying across the world during this pandemic. It's so weird. Everything is different, obviously. You gotta use your mask, your hand sanitizers, and all of that extra stuff. I'm so oily. Why am I so oily? There we go. Better lighting. But anyways, heading to the States. I look crazy because it's literally 5 a.m. in the morning. So we're about to board. I'm going from Venice to France and then from there to the States. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys on this journey, share with you guys like all of my experiences flying at this point in time. We'll see how it goes. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you're new. Let's do this. So guys, before we got on the plane, they gave us um, like this forms to fill, basically declaring that we don't have any coronavirus symptoms um, in my case I already knew about the form so I printed it and brought it with me I already filled it because I didn't want anything to waste my time you know your girl is you know <laughs> so I got everything I needed I just printed it filled it at home so when they when I came here I just handed it over to them so just in case you're traveling anytime soon know that that's a thing you're going to have to fill a form so I advise you go online and search for all the forms you need to Phil, for example, I I'm going to be transiting through France and they're gonna need another one in France and they need one here in Venice. So you need to be proactive and get what you need before going to the airport. So yeah, that's the update. I'll probably see you guys in France. Hey guys, so I just got to Paris. I'm now at the CDG airport and my next flight is in 1 hour 30 minutes so yeah over there is where I need to go check in so I'm just gonna sit down probably get me a cup of coffee or something wait what happened there were no social distancing on the plane because when we took the train they gave seats in between there were no social distancing on the plane but of course everybody had their masks on that was it no special thing was given to us to clean our hands or anything like that but i have my own stuff okay i have my own hand sanitizer i have my own everything <laughs> but anyways yeah just to update you guys i'm about to go check in and just sit down i think i'm gonna try to upload a video now since there's wi-fi so let's do that so i just went and got my mother-in-law some goodies now it's time to go we're already checking in so yeah See you guys.
you guys guess who's finally in America me <laughs> I just arrived in uh, Atlanta Your girl is now in the abroad, in the America. <laughs> we just arrived, um, got my bags. I'm now waiting for my mother in law. She's on her way. She says she's literally here. So I'm just gonna sit down and wait for her. And I'll update you guys when I get home. We are in the America. <laughs> I'm so stupid, but yeah. <sighs> It's so hot in Dallas, but yeah, I'll update you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so update as you guys can see, your girl is sleepy. Okay, I'm so tired. First of all, I want to share my experience coming from Italy to the US at this point in time. First of all, there were a lot and a lot of restrictions a lot of forms to be filled okay so i had to give them a form that i had filled in italy before going to france because i went from italy to france from france to atlanta and from atlanta to dallas in all of those stops except coming to texas i actually had to give a form i got the forms online because air france had told me that yes there are restrictions and there are forms that i have to fill so the mister printed all of the forms for me from his office and i filled them all up so i had it so most of the stops when they asked when they gave me a, a one to fill i told them i already had it and i give them an already filled one and that kind of helped me with you know making my process faster so if you're traveling around this time i would say go on the official website of your airline and find out what you might need and don't just travel blindly because i tell you there are lots of restrictions right now okay wait from from france right i had a little bit of a you know so first thing first when i got there the lady was like you know because i have a nigerian passport and currently nigerians as i told you guys in the previous video nigerians are currently kind of not allowed to immigrate to the states so she had to she asked she asked me so many questions what i did in italy blah 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 and then she was like i should hold on she wants to go and talk to her supervisor she went ahead and, and she spoke to her supervisor and the supervisor had to call someone on the phone i think the person is here in the u.s this was in france the person was here in the u.s and the person was like what kind of visa does she have and the the person said the kind of visa that i have the lady then came back and asked me are you military or is your spouse military i said yes so the person on the phone was like let her go so that was in france they let me go then when i got to the states a man received me asked me a couple of questions is my husband he still asked me that question is my spouse in the military i said yes he said what part of the military i said army he said okay he looked at my paper whatever whatever and then he transferred me to another desk so that other desk took a while i was sitting down in the waiting space the lady went through the thing and then she called my name and then i went there and the guy told me all of it he was like so your green card is gonna be ready in so, so amount of time but for the, the main time this visa that you have it's it was stamped okay and then he was like this visa that you have is good for um, as this amount of time and that you can work you can school you can travel in and out of the states you can do whatever you like <laughs> and i was like that's what's up so yeah he told me all of those things and then he gave me like a bulletin or paper where if i have any issues immigration stuff i can call them and they will answer any questions i was like that's good so when i got here my mother in love she picked me up from the airport and then on our way home from the airport she asked me if i wanted to go to the african store i was like yes so we passed by this the biggest african market that i have ever seen in my life um, the city where I lived in Italy, it was a very small city now. So the markets were really small. 
so this one the market was huge i went in there i bought me some goat meat bought me plantains a goosey maggi you know your nigerian girl gotta eat her nigerian food so yeah i got that and then we passed by nike you guys know i t i told you guys i'm currently on a weight loss journey she wanted me to get a good workout shoe because i've been long overdue for a good workout uh, you know shoes gears clothes all of that so i bought two nike shoes i'm about to show you guys yes look at that kick yes <laughs> so she got me this one and this one so she got me these two i love her when i woke up this morning we went for a one hour walk altogether it was about one hour four minutes so we went for a walk and then when we got back took a shower and she dropped me she dropped me off at um walmart while um while she went to work i am now in walmart i can't believe i'm in walmart but yeah i just came to check for some stuff and figure my life out <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's the update. I would say that overall, my experience flying right now during this pandemic wasn't all crazy or nothing. The only crazy thing that um, my first flight was normal, like everybody was everywhere. The second international one, there were very few people. There were no people at all. I showed you guys like the whole of the aisle where I was sitting, I was the only person there. And then um it was just empty like that empty 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 um so many times they they came when they give us food they'll give us like um sanitizing wipes so that was good we could wipe our you know tables and all of that and disinfect them of course i had my masks i had my hand sanitizer it's right beside me you see i had that with me so every time i went to the bathroom or anything i used it often well it's been a whole day and i don't feel sick nothing so yeah they said that if you go on an international trip that you should quarantine yourself for 15 days for 14 days nobody's quarantining nothing <laughs> so yes guys thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i'm ending it here i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you guys are going to you know follow me on this journey to discovering you know we've discovered europe now we want to discover america we want to discover the united states um we're gonna be traveling to like canada miami all those fun places you know what i mean we're gonna be having fun in it so you guys should smash the subscribe button if you're new break it destroy it and do whatever you like with it okay my acne is acting crazy again but i just ordered new stuffs again to try more the ordinary products that I'm, i need to try so yeah you guys know i've been traveling a lot so i've just been eating really bad so my acne is acting all crazy but we good we good okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one your girl is gonna take a nap okay bye bye